What is going on, friends? Sean Don coming back with a technical analysis on this fine Wednesday morning. This technical analysis is going to be the first of its kind. I had somebody submit an order, uh, my boy Javon, uh, and he didn't want a video of himself or even somebody he coaches or works with. He said, hey, can you review this video of Vadim Deviatovsky? Because I'm interested, or I should say he was interested in how but Ian was able to catch the ball so deep, but still work the ball so well. He just wants some insights into his technique, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, that being said, uh, Vadim is his, he's an elite athlete, all right? So I always feel weird critiquing uh, other elite athletes, um, unsolicited, I guess, by them, because they know what they're doing. They're cueing certain things, and I don't want to, I'm just speculating, all right? So what I'm saying is not necessarily true, it's not necessarily correct, and, and it's not exactly what they're doing. So that's always just uh, something to keep in mind, take with a grain of salt. Um, I'm just a guy who's thrown hammer pretty far for myself, um, and I'm not the, uh, let's say, the foremost expert in what every other elite athlete is doing in their training and with their techniques. So uh, I'm just going to go through and say what I think he does well and maybe point out some of his idiosyncrasies and perhaps why his uh, throw is so good. I mean, his PR, I think, was, what, over 83, 84 meters, something like that. Um, and, yeah, so it's, uh, like I said, first of its kind. Uh, if you yourself would like a technical analysis, then go to my website, gripandrip.co. I guess now this opens up a whole new uh, door if uh, you want to see some other elite technical analysis videos i mean i know i've done some stuff in the past but this just it feels weird to have somebody else order it for somebody else i guess i don't know it's weird um but yeah let's take a look at the video uh, this is vadim throwing an 8.5k weird contraption with a kettlebell butt chain yeah. thing um like i said jim i wanted to know how able to catch the hammer so deep and then also still work the ball so well and I can tell you what the answer is right now and that's going to be connection that's basically all it is I think um, so let's go through it um, I already made one attempt at this video but it got interrupted so I have to remake it um, and the video quality is not the best because I had it downloaded from YouTube so um, scrubbing through it's very very tough but as we do so it's it's weird like I, I tap my arrow key once and it doesn't go anywhere and then I tap it twice and then it goes like three frames ahead it's weird um, but he's starting pretty much back at the circle and then um, pretty square to the back of the circle I should say and then this is a thing that I've seen a lot of people do lately I should say this is a thing I haven't seen a lot of people do lately and this is why partly why his throw is already better than most um, he starts with we're gonna go back to here he brings the ball forwards, and then he, as it comes back behind him, he doesn't go straight back. Like I've seen a lot of people bring it straight forward and straight back, and then they bring it tight to the body around to the left. Uh, immediately, he gets his hands out away from his body a little bit right there, um, which is pretty good. It's, it's kind of, I think, the right thing to do, hands out away from the body, and then he brings the ball kind of forwards a little bit, and then around to his left instead of just coming tight to the body. You can see his arms are pretty long and relaxed. He's very chill through his winds and entry, which I love. Um, and then as he comes through zero in this first wind, you can see he's kind of loading his left side, kind of stepping his right side up. And then as the ball goes around behind him towards 90, he's shifting his hips and everything back over to this right side. And his elbow doesn't come super high over his head, so he's pretty stable uh, through the shoulders. He opens up, faces 270 pretty well, and then, as you can see, is this a one-wind throw? Did I? This is a one-wind throw. I don't think I even noticed that. Um, but he opens up, connects really well. Um, he gets a little taller through here, and then Vadim has a very interesting throw where he's so deep in the legs, it's it's uh, astounding to me, honestly. And I guess it'll, this will be fascinating to kind of go through and look at how he's able to do that so he reaches back behind him he's open up towards 270 he's trying to connect really early and you can see he's starting to get the ball out away from him. like at this point i can see connection through his left side up through his left shoulder through his left arm back to the ball his right arm has some pressure on it it looks like to me um he's really casting the ball out wide to his right side which is good you can see like i said long left arm 
out to the right. And then the biggest thing is he's moving in conjunction. You can kind of see it's like a it's like a perfect little concerto, if you will. Everything's kind of moving together. He's kind of uh, setting up this left side. His left arm's nice connected. His right side's working. He's sitting back a little bit. His right side's turning with it. His left side's turning with it. Everything's kind of turning together as he goes through zero. Perfect. Love to see this. Level shoulders, stable left side, left shoulder, knee, toe. This is kind of what I'm always talking about uh, in my videos. And you see his right side, it, it is a little back behind him a little bit, but I don't think it's an issue. Um, his hip does shift back a little bit, but I've said before that this sort of movement and entry is actually pretty okay. It's, it's, it's uh, passable. Um, it works for, I think, like I used to do something like this. Um, and then I know, like I said, I've seen elite athletes do it. And that's kind of where I picked it up from. And Vadim is one of those people. Uh, left side still very stable as the ball goes through zero. Left shoulder, knee, toe still in line. Right side, like I said, it's a little bit back, but he's turning with it. He's turning with the ball. Ball goes to zero. His whole body's turning with the ball. Boom, right here. If we had a side view right here, you'd see his shoulders, hips, knees, everything all squared up to the ball. It's lovely. Connection's great. He's turning with the ball very well. You can see through entry, he does kind of like settle down, sit back. He's already deep in the legs here. And this is partly just like an anthropometrics thing where some people just have longer levers or shorter lever levers. So it's easier for them to get deeper in the legs. And Vadim seems to be like one of those people. I couldn't tell you why. He's a pretty tall dude, like 6'3", 6 6'4", maybe. Um, he's also just been throwing, I think, probably since he was a kid. So he's has a very tuned nervous system to this movement. Um, through toe turn. Also, I love these Nike shoes. They were some of my favorites when I was younger. Um, but you can see right here, like I said, that right side's pretty connected towards the end of double support. And he's so long out to the left. His, his arms are nice and long and relaxed. His hips are a little bit back away from the hammer, but he's so sneaky with this right leg. And like it, most of this just comes from the upper body relaxation. He's so long through the upper body that like as he's going to step through and catch, he catches the ball like just before 180. And this is like a little bit of a heavier hammer. It's a one wind throw. So like, he's setting up a phenomenal first catch. Like how many people do you see catch the ball at 180 on this first turn? His hips are more or less underneath him. They're maybe a little bit back, but we're going to see what happens as he goes through this double support. But he catches super early. And the biggest thing here um, that I don't see a lot of people do is his left knee. Uh, you can see his left knee is very down towards the ground like so this is anthropometrics his, his ankle mobility here his his femur length his uh uh lower shin length um lower leg shin whatever bone length all that stuff um you can see just how much muscular control he has through that left side as he comes down he lands kind of like flat-footed like it looks like he comes down on the toe and then kind of stabilizes on the heel um but just so much knee flexion here. Like this is a very hard thing to accomplish. I know for sure that I can't make this happen. And like I said, he's an elite athlete. This is his own style of technique. Um, not saying you have to do this, but this is definitely one of the high points I think of his technique where like this bend in the left knee is incredible. Um, he catches, he's so deep in the legs. He's almost at like parallel with that right thigh. Um, but then the biggest thing is he comes down, he stabilizes, he has a lot of separation and uh, connection through his body and as he goes through double support his arms are out long away from his body you can see almost a slight forward tilt through his chest um, and this is like I said one of those idios idiosyncrasies that you can see in elite athletes where you're like how do they do that that's not what I would think is optimal but they make it work because they are more or less sometimes the exception so like Vadim being this low in his legs I think he's a bit of an exception um, but it obviously works for him and that's dope to see uh, big thing, though, as he's going through double support, you can see that right leg turning with the ball so well. All right, and then as he goes through double support, as he gets through zero, his uh, left side is stable once again as the ball goes through zero. And you can see everything turning together, leg, leg, shoulders, torso, everything's turning, turning together pretty well. And you can't see from this view exactly, but he's getting back against the ball a little bit, but he's staying down. He's not standing up and extending too much. As the ball goes through zero and around the left, he's turning with it more. You can see him kind of uh, getting back against the ball pretty well. Right side's, like I said, still very connected. Left side's very connected. He's not pulling. He's he's He has more of a kind of a pulling style throw, but he's not drastically ahead of it. And the big thing is that his right leg is connected. 
and then you can see sort of same thing here left knee very bent doesn't really extend up too much in double support and then when he goes to catch here same thing super early like ridiculously crazy early i've actually never really noticed this before when watching his throw but he catches foots down balls back before 180 so like let's see when he picks up if we go back to the end of the previous turn so his right foot comes off right about there so his time in single support is so short he comes up his right foot picks up probably let's say 50 60 degrees after zero and then his right foot is down like right there so like i don't know 170 160 that's so quick uh and a big thing because of that big thing leading to that is his left knee kind of dropping down his right side being very connected in the head you can just see how much tension he has through his body like i said the left side up through the left shoulder through the ball you can even see the tension in terms of the ripples of his shirt um the t the, the separation and stuff he has in his catch so he catches super early he catches super deep and uh like i said J one of javon's questions was how does he still work the ball well and the question the answer is he's just connected um he's able to work the ball with his lower body he creates so much tension and separation in this catch that he is incredibly stable his right side works with the ball pretty well and in fact phenomenally well and then he just stays connected super long relaxed upper body throughout the whole throw his lower body's connected it's kind of doing most of the work of the throw uh in my opinion um and yeah that's the thing when you are connected the hammer accelerates on its own it's not a matter of like working the ball it's a matter of just staying connected and staying in the system and working with the ball that's how you accelerate or that's how the hammer accelerates it's not necessarily a physical act coming from the body it's more of a reaction uh, if that makes sense so you catch and he's so deep um uh, and you can see his right foot's deeper into the sector he's gaining amplitude towards the sector uh instead of uh, kind of over rotating or pulling back but same thing here this this flexion and this left knee his left knee this is incredible i don't know how you manage this it's it's crazy um but very connected as you can see he has a lot of tension and separation and stability in this catch so he kind of like starts to lean back over his left side uh when the ball is over to his uh right so he's kind of countering the ball very well so left side is starting to stabilize and it, same thing, his right side is working very well. Almost a little bit ahead of it. Like I said, a little pulling style throw. And this isn't a bad thing. If you pull well, it works. If you push well, it works. If you drag, no good. Um, but stability through double support. You can see his legs working ahead of the ball. That's, I think, where the power comes from. Like I said, that's where um, he's able to work the ball. It's his lower body is working. His right foot's turning. His left and right leg are turning together. He's down in the legs. He's back against the ball. Um, he's countering well, but not too much. Uh, and you can see maybe he gets, a, like I said, it's a little bit pulley. Like his left side gets a little bit ahead of it, but it's not a big issue because that right side stays connected. Then uh, we're going to compare here. He picks up probably right about here, so just about 90. He's got a good uh, backward lean against the ball, so his center of gravity is off balance. If he let go of the hammer right now, he'd be falling to the uh, camera view left side of the circle. Um, Still long, relaxed the upper body. Right side's turning really well. Left knee, super bent, dropping forwards. He starts to get a little bit taller here, but with that, his hips get more underneath him, which I think is phenomenal. It's a hallmark of great hammer technique is your hips are underneath you on the catch. He catches just about 180 yet again. And then as he goes through double support, you can see the tension in his right foot. It comes down, and then there's no ankle collapse right here his right foot comes down and then it's already putting force into the ground there's no collapse in that right ankle there's no force loss through that right leg and you can see this really good shin angle here like i said forward shin angle ball of the foot bent left knee good knee flexion hips underneath already back against the ball stabilizing as he catches and works back against the ball left side stability up on the toes this is incredible um and then as he goes through Double support yet again, stable left side. He's not pulling back too soon. He is slightly ahead of the ball. Uh, but as I've said before, it's not an issue because his right side is so connected. You can see that right foot turning. He's up on the ball of the foot. Really good extension through that right ankle, but he's not extending up through the left leg. 
he's extending up, but he's not straightening it out. It's still bent as he goes through um, double support. And you'd say, like, left heel ground's just before zero. Um, that's ideally what I want to see. Um, if I'm looking at hammer technique, if your left heel ground's after the ball passes zero, it's probably no good. Uh, but you want that left heel to ground just before the ball gets to zero, um, or anywhere before the ball gets to zero, really. Pretty stable. Right side's working really well. Well, right leg turning really well. Left knee still bent. And then his upper body's so long and relaxed. And like I said, you can see this um, counter, if you will, off balance. Once again, if you let go of the hammer, he'd be falling over here. That's partly how you accelerate the hammer in single support. You have to be off balance. Um, but not too much. You still need to be in connection with the hammer. And uh, it's a tug of war that you want to tie. And with that right leg working so well, he starts to get that, uh, he starts to hang on the hammer is what I call it. You can see a lot of tension through this left shoulder. Um, and that right side is kind of coming down. Like this is a sick single support movement right here. It's so tidy. Right leg turning. And then, boom. He, you can see how stable his body is. Very little movement single support outside of that initial lean at the end of uh, double, or double support. Catches, ball at 180. Hips underneath him, torso stacked, left knee bent, right side still gaining direction into the sector. Ball of the foot, same sort of thing. You're going to see there's a little bit of collapse there, but then boom, right back up. There's no lack of tension in his body. Uh, everything is connected. There's tension from his toes all the way up through his shoulders, hands, arm, all the way through the ball. It's all connected. It's all feeling the tension at the same time. Um, and same thing, he's already stabilized over this left side. His right foot, like I said, good chin angle, ball of the foot. And then he just stays connected. He keeps turning with it as he goes through zero on this finish. Bent left knee, right side turning, working really well, but not extending up, straightening out that left leg. He's just with it, dude. And then he goes through the finish. Bent knees, hips under him. Pulling, extending out a little bit, but boom, finish. And then because he's a little heavy on the right, he pulls off like this, but I don't think that's a big issue. His path through the circle was kind of down that right side. I think as a matter of him just catching so early and always stepping forwards to the ball, he wasn't really ever rotate, over-rotating, so just absolutely crushing it. So uh, that's just kind of what I see in his technique. Like I said, this is just my... This is my um, interpretation it's not right it's not wrong it just is um so hopefully vadim doesn't see this because i don't know i feel self-conscious i guess but um yeah it's a pretty pretty solid looking throw um i'm tired of scrubbing through it because it's not the smoothest frame rate but you can see how he does things so well it really just comes down to that right leg being so connected that right hip and everything his whole body's just connected throughout the whole throw um this this video is still scrubbing even though I am not hitting any buttons. That's crazy. But how do we make this stop? Yeah, okay, we're back now. But yeah, right side's very connected. His whole body's connected. He's got the most incredible single support movement with that right leg. And then his left knee and left leg is just, it's incredible. Uh, you don't see many people do that. And that's why he has thrown as far as he has. But also that just comes from years and years and years and years and like 20 plus years of throwing hammer. Um, starting super young, learning that motor pattern and all that stuff. So, yeah, what a video. Um, Javon, hopefully this answers your question. Um, he's just connected. His right leg works the ball very well. He is, I should say both of his legs work the ball very well. Um, and then his upper body is just so long and relaxed. And he's just a tall physical specimen as it is. So. Uh, he is a talent, that's for sure. Like I said, maybe the exception, but, you know, everybody's able to get it done somehow. It just takes a while to figure it out. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, Sean Don signing off.